So I've been using the Galaxy Watch Active 2 paired with an iPhone for the better part of two weeks now, and I want to give you my thoughts and opinions on if this is a good alternative to the Apple Watch. And I do understand that some may be quick to jump in the comments and say, hey, look, if you have an iPhone, get an Apple Watch. If you have a Samsung phone, get the Galaxy Watch Active 2. It's that simple. I understand that point completely. However, I do feel there are many iPhone users out there who are looking for an alternative smartwatch to the Apple Watch Series 5 or Series 4, and maybe the Galaxy Watch Active 2 is something they've been looking at. So that's why this video came together. I wanted to test how well these two devices paired up throughout the day. And so I came up with five features that I think most users are looking for in a smartwatch. So let's go ahead and take a look at the Galaxy Watch Active 2 and an iPhone 11 Pro and see how well these two pair up. So the first one is connectivity. The first thing you do when you set up a smartwatch is connect it to your smartphone. And it's very important that they have a reliable connection so that they can share the information fluidly. Now they both use Bluetooth 5.0, which is considered to be a very reliable connection. It doesn't tax the battery and it has a range of about 800 feet. However, it acts just like Wi-Fi, So walls and any other objects may affect its range. In my testing, I did notice that sometimes it would disconnect out of nowhere. I wasn't sure exactly what was causing it. I'd go back into the Galaxy Watch app and it would reconnect after about 30 seconds seconds or so. So I would say it's about 90 to 95% reliable. The next feature is health tracking and smartwatches have really come a long way over the last couple years at tracking your health, your daily activity and providing you with that information and data so you can understand exactly what you're doing throughout your day. If you go into the app store, you will find the Samsung health app. I think you should download that if you have the Galaxy Watch active too, as it acts like a central hub for all of your health tracking data. So you can track your steps, how many calories you've burned throughout the day. You can put in how much food you've eaten and exactly how much calories you've consumed your sleep patterns. It's a really good app that captures everything that you need to understand exactly what you're doing throughout the day to become a healthier person. And one feature that I like about the Galaxy Watch Active 2 is that it has an auto workout tracking feature. So if you start some type of intense activity, the watch will pick it up and start recording the data after about 10 minutes. And so overall, if you're looking for an alternative to the Apple Watch and its activity tracking features, I think the Samsung Galaxy Active 2 and the Samsung Health app work really well together to give you similar results. Now the next one's notifications. And I know this is a really big feature feature for a lot of people who want to buy a smartwatch to receive notifications on their wrist and being able to reply to those notifications directly from the watch is really important to a lot of users. And unfortunately, this is where the Galaxy Watch Active 2 and the iPhone start to show that they're not as compatible as you would like them to be because any notification that you do receive on your watch, you won't be able to reply to. Now in my testing, I did find this to be a little bit annoying at times. I get a notification pop up on my wrist and I just couldn't respond to it. I have to pick up the phone and actually respond that way. And so I know this can be a big drawback back, especially for those who want to communicate directly on their wrist. And I can't argue with it. I think this is a big feature that is missed with the Galaxy Watch Active 2 and an iPhone. The next feature I looked at is the Galaxy Watch app and how well that communicated with the Active 2. And I was pleased to see that the majority of the settings that you would find on the watch are on the app itself. So you can quickly toggle on and off things or customize it the way you want as far as the settings go. Now, I do hope that in a future update, they include the ability to customize which notifications pop up on your wrist. I was looking through the app and I couldn't find a way to toggle certain notifications on and off. But overall, the Galaxy Watch app has come a long way over the last couple years, and I feel like it complements the Active 2 really well. You can change a lot of settings quickly versus having to navigate through the watch. The last feature I want to point out is the Galaxy App Store and how that relates to customizing and adding features to the watch. Now, this one's a little bit tricky because the Galaxy App Store does provide a wide range of watch faces and applications. However, you don't get the full Galaxy App Store. And what I mean by that is that you don't get paid apps and paid watch faces. Unfortunately, Unfortunately, there's just nothing currently set up to where you can make payments to that Galaxy App Store through an iPhone. So you're just tied to a lot of the free applications and free watch faces that are in the App Store, which are pretty good, but you don't get the full amount of applications and watch faces that you would in the real Galaxy App Store. And so there you have it. Those are five main features that I think a lot of consumers will be looking at when weighing if they want to purchase a Galaxy Watch Active 2 if they have an iPhone. You do have some of the benefits like the health tracking features, but then there are also some drawbacks like the notifications and not being able to respond to them. And and the lack of paid Galaxy apps in the App Store. So now if you're concerned about some of those features that are missing in the Galaxy Watch Active 2, then I would definitely look at the Apple Watch series. You'll get full functionality with those watches when it's paired up with an iPhone. However, I know some people don't need everything on their watch. Some people just want to have that health tracking feature and that's it. And they don't need notifications to pop up on their wrist. And that's the reason why I did this test to see exactly what I could do with the Galaxy Watch Active
Active 2 paired up with an iPhone. So in my conclusion, after using these two devices together, I do feel like the Galaxy Watch Active 2 is a good alternative to the Apple Watch series if you're willing to sacrifice some of those drawbacks like I previously mentioned. And if you think there were some key features that I didn't discuss in this video, please leave them in the comments and I'll respond. Well, this is Tech Jungle. I did hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like, subscribe if you haven't, and I'll see you on the next one. Y'all take care.